As I mentioned previously, the CMU, or Central Monitoring Unit, contains the switches that allow you to turn the unit on and off, and the visual indicators that allow you to see whether the unit is operating properly, and also contains visual and audible gas alarm indicators. Also, all the connections for both the remote sensing unit and your AC and DC power are provided at the rear of the CMU. Now let's just show you how a typical setup would be, for example. When you are connecting to AC, you would be using the receptacle, which is at this bottom corner of the CMU on the rear. The power cord that comes with the unit, it's an eight-foot power cord with a grounded three-prong uh, plug on one end and a mounted triplex receptacle on the other end. It simply plugs into this AC connection with the mounted part of the plug placed upwards. Now, the other end obviously would be connected to your 110, 115 power source, whether that be commercial power or generator power. If you were using the DC power capability, it would be plugged into the DC connection at this end of the CMU. Also now you'll see a couple of other uh, receptacles in the back of the unit that I'd like to talk about briefly. This outlet receptacle is green color coded. This is where the other end of your remote sensing unit would be plugged in. When you plug in the unit, very easy to plug in, there are two screws on one side of the plug. Those screws would face upward, be inserted in the receptacle, and you notice that it locks in place. There is a tab on the top of the receptacle that you would have to depress in order to release the plug. That's a safety feature to prevent against accidental disconnection. Also on the back of the unit, on this corner you will see on a plug or socket labeled remote. Many areas are now using the multi-RAM as a continuous gas monitor in cable vault applications. They simply hang the central monitoring unit outside the vault, place the remote inside the vault, providing 24-hour protection, and this remote plug would allow you to run the alarm to a location where it could be seen or heard, perhaps to the supervisor's desk in that facility, or perhaps to a red light outside that facility that would alert persons that there's a gas condition in the vault. Now, for your protection, we also provide fusing for both the AC and the DC circuit. The fusing for the DC circuit, excuse me, the AC circuit, is located in a little slide drawer right underneath the AC plug. This fuse is a bus type slow blow quarter amp fuse. Again, that's designed to protect you and the equipment from problems that you might have with your power source. Also, the DC circuit is protected with its own unique fuse. That's the back of the unit. Now I'd like to show you the front of the unit. As I mentioned previously, this is where all the controls are. This control on the bottom corner is your on-off switch. This is a locking type toggle switch. When you have your power connected and turn this on, if you are using the AC circuit, you will get an amber light. That will indicate to you that the power is on and connected to the unit. If you were using the DC circuit, you would get a blue light indication, again indicating that the DC power is provided to the unit. Right here are the alarm controls and alarm indicators. This is a non-latching toggle switch that would allow you to reset an alarm once a gas condition is removed. This red light will activate if you get a gas condition, and the alarm horn is in this little opening here, and you will hear it later when I turn the unit on for a demonstration. This larger opening is a storage port for the remote when it's not being utilized. 
I'm going to put the CMU aside for a few minutes and just briefly explain to you how the remote sensor works. When you get the unit again, it will be packaged in cellophane. I've taken this off for purposes of the demonstration. This is the remote sensing unit again. It contains electronics and a solid state sensor, which is inside this square opening, that will provide audible and visual indicators for any gas which is combustible, explosive, or flammable. The unit is calibrated at the factory to alarm at 10% of the lowest explosive level of a methane mixture. The unit is also factory mutual certified. You will also notice a sticker on the outside of the remote sensing unit. When the units leave our factory, they are certified by our qualified technicians. Yearly, the units also have to be certified by UTEC qualified technicians at your field location. A sticker placed on the remote sensing unit and on the central monitoring unit will indicate to you when the certification was accomplished and when it is due again. Now continuing with the description of the remote sensing unit, you have a red light indicator that will illuminate should there be a gas condition, again, at 10% of the lowest explosive level of methane or above, you have a green indicator lamp that would illuminate when the power to the remote is connected. And a very unique and helpful feature of the remote is an emergency call for help button. This button is provided so that any user can operate this if he or she has a difficulty while working in the manhole. Again, the remote is provided with a 50-foot cord, which allows quite a bit of flexibility as far as utilizing this on the job between placing the remote sensing unit and the location of the central monitoring unit.